today I want to go over some of the best or the most important accessories you could have as a new YouTuber, somebody who's trying to vlog or somebody who's trying to capture content while they travel or just, you know, go about their day. So the type of equipment you go for is really going to come down to what you want to do. Do you want to just create a channel where you review things? Do you want to create a channel where you talk about your experience, aka vlogging or your day to day? Or do you want to do like a travel, uh, you know, travel style, uh, cinematic vlogging or recording or whatever? Either way, some of these accessories should help you out if you're just starting up and you don't have much equipment or you have something but you're looking to get more accessories. I'm going to start with the most important thing camera camera and audio those are going to be your two most important thing so over here i have two cameras while you can use your cell phone i would always recommend that you have a different camera other than your cell phone when it comes to cameras you have uh, you have multiple options you can go for the vlogging style camera like the Os osmo pocket 3 or you can go for action camera now I'll, sh I'll tell you exactly why i'm going for these two right here now depending on what your budget is these are the two cameras that i would recommend you get now if your budget is really tight and you have to have one camera and you can only have just one camera i would go with the insta360 x4 the reason i would go for the x4 opposed to any other camera is because this camera right here can capture moments views unlike anything else you can use it to blog you can use it to vlog you can use it to capture 360 videos you can use it to capture single lens videos it, it's an action camera right now i have a protective lens cover on it but this thing can is just an all-around camera now if you haven't seen my review on it you should check out this video i have right here why this is the single best camera that you can possibly get now that's assuming your budget is really tight. So with this camera right here, you can go inside the water. You can use it as a dash cam. I mean, there's just so much you can do with this, but if you have to go with one camera, this is one camera that I would go with because there is so much you can do with it. Now, if you don't plan on getting in the water or maybe you already have something like this maybe you already have an action camera and you're looking for something with a higher quality then i would go with the osmo pocket 3. this camera right here is incredible so the reason why i would go with this camera is because of the quality the picture quality i mean the the video quality on this thing is incredible you might, you might not be able to see right now, but I got some real estate uh, content on this because I was using this earlier. This thing is simply incredible. I know you guys have seen a lot of videos about it, but yes, it is what the hype. Now, uh, the reason why I personally chose this as the, the best when it comes to quality is because of the one inch sensor on it. Let me turn this thing off okay it's because of the one inch sensor on this camera so this is a one inch sensor which will give you a much higher quality than your phone can give you and it has a gimbal a mechanical gimbal that stabilizes your video now if you do get something like this i would highly recommend you get the creative combo now there's a lot of companies that sell some kind of combo but I believe this is the one combo that is actually really worth it because with the combo you get an extra battery you get a microphone and you get a wide angle lens now i don't really use the wide angle lens because you know there's so much distortion especially for what i do but if i'm just vlogging or something like that then yes i will use the wide angle lens now along with this is the microphone that comes with this creator combo the two most important thing you want when it comes to creating a new channel or vlogging or anything cinematic, a bit cinematic, is audio and video. Audio being the most important thing and 
video being the second. The reason is people will listen to a good audio and terrible video quality. People would not listen to terrible audio and good video quality. So always get yourself a microphone. This is not the only microphone that you can get. There are many other microphones that work with the uh, Osmo Pocket 3, you know, via USB-C. But if you do get this camera, just go ahead and get you the Creator Combo because it comes with an extra battery. Now, if for some reason you don't get the Creator Combo and you want to buy this separately, you still can. It's $99 on Amazon. And for me personally, I have this battery extender. This is, is a higher capacity than the, than the one that comes with the Creator Combo. The one that comes with the Creator Combo, I think, charges the Osmo I think one, one or two or twice or something like that. This right here is a much, much higher capacity and it extends the grip. So this camera is so light that, oh, and this one right here fast charges the, uh, the Osmo pocket. So it gives me a really good grip instead of the little one that comes with it. But this camera is so light that it's easy to actually just wiggle it, shake it a little too much because it's just so light. You know, I'm used to a, a bigger gimbal. Now, just for reference, this is what I used to use for shooting my video content. So this was my mini <laughs> gimbal. This is my Osmo. I mean, this is my DJI Ronin SC. This is what I use with my mirrorless camera. It's what I use uh, to shoot like a high quality video. Now, as you can see, this is pretty big and this is not even the biggest one, but this is good enough for my mirrorless camera. Now compare that to this right here. Massive difference, massive, massive difference. But anyways, so this is what I would have now. Let me put this down. You might see this thing right here, right? The reason I have this is because I like to, like I said, this thing is just so light. It's actually easy to get a, a shaking in the in in your videos because it's just so so light, which is perfect for traveling. But if you want to do, shoot like cinematic stuff, like you know product showcase or in my situation you want to shoot some maybe real estate or some kind of like really smooth b-roll you would you would want to have something like this right now i bought this itself from amazon a long time ago because this right here can actually attach to my running sc gimbal and this right here actually came with my gimbal as you can see it says running up there so I just, it's been, I did this a long time ago, so I don't even remember how I did it, but basically I was able to adapt this right here onto this. And this part right here is, comes with the Osmo Pocket, uh, Osmo Pocket 3. And I basically just use one of these adapters and put it on there to hold it. Now you don't, you, to for convenience, you can actually get something like this, you know, that makes it easy for you to put it on and off but i don't really take this off anyway so i just leave it up there the way it works is you just simply take your osmo and you click on it and just like that it's going nowhere now this right here is for my cell phone now i don't typically put a cell phone a regular cell phone on there i actually use something called the extra beam pro now if you don't know about this extra extra is a company is an ar company that makes uh ar glasses they came up with this device right here that allows you to watch ar content on your phone i mean on your device now the reason i use this is because i can have the dji Memo app on this, which is what's on display right here. But at the same time, I can hook it up. Now, here's the cooler part about this. 
This device right here, Extra Beam Pro, has the ability to capture 3D videos. What that means is that I can put this on it on the uh on the this part right here. And I can have the gimbal on this. Now, when it comes to like cinematic or you know outdoor videos or something like that, I basically use this as my preview for this window right here. Now I can actually open another split window and use the cameras on the back of this to record 3D videos. So I can have a video for YouTube or for Instagram Reels and at the same time capturing 3D content. Now these 3D videos I can watch back on my glasses. You know, when you go, when you travel, you capture all these moments on your phone or on your gimbal or whatever camera you, you, you use to capture the moments. But I mean, if you have a device that's capable of recording 3D videos, you can almost relieve those moments later on. That's why I use this. So not only does it serve as my display for this, but it can also capture 3D videos at the same time. And so I just basically hold it. I mean, this thing is super light. It might look bigger, it might look heavier than it really is, but I promise you this is super, super light. As a matter of fact, it's so light that sometimes I screw in something just to put a little more weight to it. Maybe, maybe I'm just so used to carrying a lot of heavy stuff, but this thing is very light and compact. And this can tilt a little bit, you know, it can also rotate, you know, if I want to do landscape and stuff like that. But that's why I have this. Now, so that's for this part right here. So I'm gonna take, now to take this off, it's pretty easy, quick release. You press this right here and it comes right out. Now, when you have a camera like this, you also need, you know, filters. Filters for outdoor. I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard it a million times. Filters are like sunglasses for your camera. They really are, they make, and they make a difference. So now that's with the Osmo Pocket, you have this microphone. I'm sorry, I'm going all over the place, but with this microphone that comes along with it, it allows you to capture audio without an adapter into this, and it can record the audio backup into the device itself. So if some reason they disconnect, there's still gonna be audio recorded in this. I think it has like 12 gigs of memory so you can pretty much record audio all day long and this thing will not uh, get filled, filled. Now back to the Insta360 X4. If you do decide to go with this camera, make sure you have spare batteries. I personally chose uh, this company. I don't know what company it is, but I'm gonna put a link in the description. They give you two batteries with the cam. I mean, they give you two batteries with this charging dock and it can charge two batteries, you know, it comes with two batteries and it can charge both of them using this dock right here. So it is definitely a necessary addition. Now, you have all this, right? So I always recommend that if you're a travel person, you have at least one, uh, one drone. The reason you want to have at least one drone is because there is no view quite like an area photography. You know, if you if you're in the mountains or if you're, um, you know, somewhere that that looks really scenic and you would like to capture an area view, you would want a drone. Now, why do I have this drone right here opposed to all the other drones? I have like. I've had multiple drones. I've had like just thousands of dollar drones, but I choose to recommend this because this is not only cheap, it is a very, very capable and damn near indestructible drone. So if you go, if you're traveling, you will quickly find that in most countries, they have a weight limit for drones to where you, not, you don't have to register it. And that weight limit is typically 250 
250 grams, either 250 or 259, something like that grams. And this drone is well below that. Not only that, not only is it, you know, under that weight limit, this thing has some prop guards. So even if you do crash it, there's a high chance that this thing is not gonna get destroyed. I've crashed this drone right here like maybe 11 times, and I'm not kidding. I've crashed this a lot, and it looks like there's basically no damage to it. Like, this is an incredible drone. It's not the fastest, it's, it's a bit loud, uh, louder than you would expect this to be, but that's because of the, the blades are small, so they have to spin faster, which creates this kind of annoying noise, but the video quality is all right and you can capture some good videos now capturing a good video is going to depend on the pilot if you have it on auto on your or you're flying with your phone you're not going to get the best video possible but if you have a controller you can actually adjust the video settings and if you have an nd filter you can try and get uh, better video quality with this it's a really really fun drone you don't even need a controller you just press uh, some buttons right here the drone will follow you and it will do some automated movements you can use this with your phone uh, you can use this without your phone it's just so so easy to fly very very easy it's a very budget friendly drone but it's a very capable drone another reason why Oh, before I get to another reason why I recommend it is this filter right here. I chose this company because uh, the filters that you can put on the drone are magnetic. So it makes changing out the, uh, the filters very easy. So you, they have this adapter right here that you put on it and then you take your filters and you just pretty much stick it on it. And it's, magne it's magnetized onto the gimbal. And it does not affect the way the gimbal well, works at all. I've flown with this with many with many of the filters with, just like this before, and the drone was perfectly fine. So I highly recommend uh, this filter. Everything is going to be linked in the description. And pretty much everything here you see, I actually got off Amazon. So another reason why I recommend this drone is because. This drone is a gateway to many of DJI's ecosystem. If you don't have, so see, I've been flying drones uh, a long for a long time. I've had many different drones. I've had uh, I've had drones from different brands, but I've had so so many hours of flying DJI drones. I think I'm gonna put a screen uh, screen capture of what I've been flying or how, how long I've been flying with uh, with DJI drones. Some of them is not even recorded, but I've had the Mavic 2 Pro, the Mini 4. Uh, I just have a bunch of different drones and this right here has become my favorite because it's so easy to fly, not just because it's so easy to fly, but because it's really damn near indestructible. Like I've crashed this so, so many times. I've even loved taking risks with this. But anyways, another reason why this is a gateway to many of DJI's drones is because this thing can fly like a regular drone and it can fly in FPV if you buy the accessories that comes with it. Obviously, that will make your price much, much more expensive than its $200 budget. But if you already have those, then this is a perfect thing to get because it would just work with us. Or if you're in this situation where you already have like a Mini 4 Pro, guess what? This drone would work with the controller. Or you can even just buy this separately. I'm not sure how you would get it, but maybe you could find it on eBay or something or on uh, DJI's website. But this drone and this, they work phenomenally. Now, Another reason why you would want a controller is let's say you are in Bali, right? I went to Bali uh, not too long ago and I was flying my drone, but I was using a controller. If you decide, if you try to use a Wi-Fi, your phone to fly this, your range is going to be very, very limited. However, if you're able to, if you use the controller, you can get much, much farther distance. You can control your camera, you can control things like your ISO, you know, your shutter speed and, you know, stuff like that. Um, 
So you would want a controller and if you're gonna get a controller for this, if you don't get a combo, get this right here, the DJI RC2. The reason why I would say get this is because it has a screen built in, so you don't have to worry about using your cell phone. This thing already has a um, screen built in, and it's so compact, it's easy to, to put up, so you, you know you can remove the, the throttle sticks, and you can fold them right here, and just like that. So it has a display of its own, touchscreen display, and it has a memory card that you can use. This part right here is where I put my straps, that way I can put it around my neck. Just very easy, you know, it's got these speakers and all that stuff. Okay, so those are some of, those are the most important things that you would need as a new creator. Here are some bonus th uh, bonus things that you might want to get. That you no, not even might, you should probably get. So, if you are out in the field, right, and you are recording content, maybe your memory gets filled, you know, and you need to offload something, or you need to transfer something real quick. That way, you don't have to, you know, that way you don't have to delete something that you re uh, something precious that you recorded. What you would simply do is use something like this, right? I recommend this right here. The reason I recommend this is because this actually can work with a lot of phones that support USB-C. For example, I have a Samsung Fold. I just simply plug this in and I can put two SD cards. So let's say I have a 32 gig card here. I can put it right there. And let's say, and here I have a 64 gig memory card. I can also put it right here. Now, all I have to do is plug this end into my cell phone or my computer. But in this case, let's say I'm out in the field. I just plug into my cell phone. I can literally transfer files from this to this. If this was an SD card, I can transfer files from this to this or vice versa or I can transfer files from both of them to my cell phone at the same time. Now, here's another cool part about this. If your computer doesn't have a USB-C, you can actually plug in a regular USB into your computer and offload two cards at the same time. And it's very compact. This is why I personally, personally love this. So, those are the most important accessories. If you have enjoyed this type of content or this video so far, please hit the like button and subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching up until this far. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.